Hi, my name's Justin Adams and uh, I've been playing at WOMAD festivals for about 30 years. I think the first one I ever did was with uh, Jar Wobble Invaders of the Heart back in the late 80s. It's more than 30 years. And um, uh, I've played with uh, Jewel De Camera a few times, with Robert Plant and with other bands. I've had the opportunity to collaborate with amazing people. Um, and I've just been many, many times as a punter, so it's sad I won't be going uh, this summer. But uh, as a little uh, consolation, I thought I'd do a little um, workshop um, and share. I thought I'd share one little thing that was um, uh, taught to me by a percussionist called Salah Dawson Miller. Um, and it's just a something about um, North African music, but it's not only been helpful to me um, when I want to actually play this particular North African rhythm or when I want to play with North African musicians, but it also provided me with an insight into the way that African music musicians and music uh, works. So that, uh, for instance, when I've been to Senegal or when I've worked with Nigerian or Ghanaian musicians, just having the, the, this bit of knowledge, um, it really helped me get inside a lot of other kinds of, uh, of African musics and moreover all, all the African derived forms of music so I actually think it's made me play rock and roll in a better way it's made me understand blues in, in a better way so this might seem like a very sort of simple um, thing but for me it's been very profound to understand um, so it's a, uh, a it's a 4-4 rhythm that I'm going to show. I'm going to show the, the rhythm guitar part um, and uh, it's something that you hear a lot uh, for instance in Tinara when there'll be the, the lead guitarist who plays the, the melody and the solos but then there'll also be a rhythm guitarist and uh, uh, they, they tend to play something like this. So, uh, play that to a lot of um, uh, UK drummers they uh, they say oh I know that rhythm and uh, they think that I'm playing a kind of like a, a surf pop kind of rhythm and they think I'm going one two three four but it's actually not it's on a different beat from that so I'm gonna just attempt to show you that so what it is is going one two three going on is the uh, the what I'd call the dum because I, I use this uh, this terminology of dum and tack uh, which comes from the uh, the darbuka the way that the Arabic uh, drum is taught so on here what I've got is I've transported it to guitar and the low E string is making the dum the low note so I've got that on a, on a, a G note of a G bar chord on the uh, low E string and I'm just playing a regular G bar chord here like that and then when I'm counting one two three four I'm not coming in on the one as you might expect but I'm coming in just slightly before the one so one two three four and one one two three four and like that one and two and three and four and the first bar and there's a two bar variation on it so we get that going one two three four and back here's the second bar So you can just scroll back and see what I'm doing. Um, on the right hand, uh, what I th as a general rule for guitarists, what I really like to see guitarists doing 
is going basically playing up and down strokes all the time or feeling those up and down strokes all the time and then a lot of the time it's the left hand going down engaging with the fretboard that's calling the note what i mean is that you so you might be going See, I'm just going up and down with my right hand, but it's the left hand that's making it either sound or not. And that's a technique that's used in funk and reggae and, you know, fella kuti, you hear this kind of... Or James Brown. All that kind of thing, or reggae. All of that kind of thing. So, um, so to take it back to the rhythm that we were showing, one and two and three and four and... See how my hand's going up and down. And the great thing, what that gives you is a sort of balance, an up and down, left to right balance. If you just try and play it like that, it just, it won't be as balanced, it's not as grounded. And that's what you want to have is that flow, that grounded, grounded flow. So one, two, three, four. And, and. And the funny thing about that boom that's not coming on the one, is it's, uh, you know, in, for instance, funk, where the boom comes on the one, as Bootsy Collins tells us. On this, it's coming before the one, and uh, that relates to the dance, where it's going one, two, three, four, <clears throat> and the, the, the foot comes up when the boom of the drum plays, and the foot goes back down to the ground on the one. One, and two, and three, and four, and... four rhythm and uh, with that you've got the initial key with that dum not falling on the one but falling on the four and just before the one and uh, with the right hand up and down nice steady thing you can either swing it or play it straight so straight would be what and if you want to swing it a bit subtle variations in swing make all the difference and uh, there you go from there there's there's lots more but uh, if you want to find out more you could always come to my website and uh, look at my Facebook page and you can contact me and find out more about these things and um, but I'll just say I really hope I'll see you at WOMAD next year and um, have a good summer